Welcome, welcome to GTEx Designs. I'm GTEx. This episode, we will be building part 4 03, the rear axle sprocket mounting plate for the Clayton Untyped Steam Wagon. Let's get building. Alright, so it's a far new uh, part MMGS. Alright, so this is going to be like a half circle. It's going to be covering the holes that we did in the last two. Got different ways to do this. Let's go right, sketch. Uh, let's do uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. One, two, three and four that works <laughs> now this one will be construction this one will be construction let me do this one first that's going to be 127 if you recognize that number from the last video that's one i had trouble with that's the inner circle the milk circle of the inner circle if that makes sense uh, 100. That's going to be 70. Then this one's going to be 50. Now, um, thing is, the hole is not center. Like if we cut this in half here, you got one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So if we start there, one, actually let me just exit out there for a moment. Let me open up that other piece we had last time. Okay, so let's just go normal. So it's going to be like through there. So it's going to be like cut between there. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need cut through there. So I'm thinking if I do build this up, Put the circles around and then I can cut in half. So I think that might be an easier way to do it. Let me go back and sketch. Uh, yeah, let me go back and sketch. Let me now put a marker there. It's going to be two there, beautiful. Circle. Gonna be all circles are six, right? Yes. So smart dimension six. Now if we go to circular, but if we actually if we go six and one eighty, and might help if we put a center point in. And that one, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nope, let's do. You know what? Didn't make it easy. I'm going to do 12, 360. There we go. And that one's done. So let's put another circle in right there, actually. Yeah, they did line up. Yep, yep. We'll make sure. Um, smart dimension, that's going to be six. Nope. Smart dimension, thank you. Not a circle. That's going to be six as well. And then that's going to go round. We're going to go to circular pen. Down there, that circle. It's going to be 12. And okay. Now let's go feature extrude. That's going to be a thickness of six. Let's do mid plane and okay. There we go. That's good. Now if we go to normal, before I do, let me change this color. This material. There we go. 
So now if we go across there, if we put a line from there to that Harvard, line there in the Harvard, that should go through then through the centre. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see if we can do that. Again, there's different ways you can do this. This is one way I'm doing it. Okay, do a centre line from that circle to that circle. That circle to that circle. Let's do a center line for now. That's going to be halfway there. That's cool. There we go. And that's going to be actually a not center line. That's going to be not construction. Construction line is actually called. There we go. So now if we Put another line there, one there. Now this one, see how it clicks in so it's parallel, that's good. Now this I'm just going to put around, there's no particular measurements there. We're going to feature, extrude, uh, through all and done. There we go, that piece is done. I found this easy way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six pieces. If you need two, which I think it's going to be using two, the other piece go there, it's going to be exactly the same. So let me just prove that. Let me open up a new assembly. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to drag that across. Oh, wrong key. There we go. Now, if I go mate that one to that one but flip it and then that point to that point and that point to couldn't quite get it that point there we go now if I go to out of that, get our mate, thank you. Go to normal. There you go, you got a full piece again, what we had. And so, but because there's two pieces, you can slide in to the parts to get it. So that works out good. I don't need to save that, so I'm not going to save. So that is that piece done. Let me flip that around that way. So that's part 4-03, the rear axle sprocket mounting plate done for the Clayton Untyped Steam Wagon. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Click the like button, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate everyone's support. Welcome new subscribers. I'll see you next episode. Remember, thank you very much.